In this video, I'll show you how to vectorize an image in Affinity. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the image that I'll be using in the video description. Right now, we have an image that looks pretty good, but if we zoom in, you can quickly see the pixels of our image. Let's fix that. All you need to do is go to the top of the screen to the vector menu. Then go down to where it says image trace. Right away, you can see the pixels have disappeared. We have a few options that we can customize right down here. You usually don't need to change the edge threshold, but let's take a quick look at the curve fitting tolerance. If you set a low tolerance, Affinity will stay true to the lines in your original image. Even if your lines are jagged, it will keep those messy details. But if you use a high tolerance, Affinity will smooth out any rough edges in the design. For this example, I'll keep it somewhere in the middle. Then I'll press apply. With the image now vectorized, it's been divided into individual layers that you can edit however you want. But there are quite a few layers that are created, and it can be hard to find what you're looking for if you want to customize something. So instead, I suggest you click in your image to select an area. When you first click in the image, you'll need to click a few times to select what you're looking for. And then you can go ahead and change it however you want. Now that I have that selected, I can just click once on other areas to select the layers, and I can go ahead and change them. You can also change the nodes in your image. For example, we have this strange area right here. I want to delete this, so I'm going to click, and then I'll click delete. This has left a sharp node behind, so I'll click a few times until the nodes pop up. Then we can select the node, and we can change it to a smooth node. That looks better. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to vectorize your images and customize them however you want. If you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a link in the video description to my free Affinity course. In the course, you'll learn 10 simple steps to make any photo amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.